Hi, my name is Ali Shersava, and over the next few minutes, I would like to talk to you about the impact of phase margin on a power supply's transit response. This short video is aimed at engineering students and is a short extract from Texas Instruments Webbench seminars. Please visit the website for full details about these. Okay, so in the last few videos, we talked about Bode plots and the stability, and then we looked at the impact of crossover frequency on the transient response. In this video, we are going to talk about the impact of phase margin on our transient response. Too high a phase margin and our power supply will be sluggish after a load step, and too low a phase margin could result in instability. So we need to find a compromise. As TI's Webbench Power Designer tool allows you to design power supplies and it also allows you to change the phase margin, plus you can simulate in both time domain and frequency domain, it is an ideal tool to use in order to get a feeling of the impact of this parameter in real life. So if I look at my body plot over here, we should be familiar with these body plots by now. Uh, the red trace is the, the gain plot and the, and the blue trace is the phase plot. I draw a line to the point whereby my gain plot crosses the zero dB axis. That is my crossover frequency and we defined phase margin as how much phase was above 180 degrees at crossover. And in my case, this is about 70 degrees of phase margin. So I'm interested in knowing how the stability changes with regard to the, uh, uh, the phase margin. At the moment, I have 70 degrees of phase margin. Theoretically, when our phase margin is exactly zero degrees, our power supply output will oscillate with a constant amplitude. Mathematicians call this critically stable. Engineers will call it unstable. So could it be possible that our system is perfectly stable until you've got one degree of phase margin and then suddenly you start oscillating as soon as phase margin becomes zero degrees? No the system behavior would become more and more oscillatory as the phase margin becomes lower and lower until it becomes unstable. And that is why we allow a minimum of 45 degrees of phase margin. And in fact, we typically try to design for 55 to 60 degrees of phase margin so that our absolute minimum is around 45 degrees. Again, we can use Webbench as a teaching tool to design a real power supply with a certain phase margin in frequency domain and then simulate its transient response in time domain in order to get the feeling of how changing a phase margin will impact the transient response. Then we can very quickly, very quickly redesign the same power supply with different phase margin and look at this impact. So if I go to my next plot, you can see right here that I have designed a power supply with exactly the same load step. These are two different power supplies with two different phase margins. The load step is going from around 2 amps down to near 0 amps. And you can see that on one of them, you've got no oscillations. and one of them, you've got more oscillations. So let's have a look at this. I got Webbench to design this one with a phase margin of around 50 degrees for me. And you can see it's a beautiful step response with absolutely no ringing. And then I got Webbench to design one with a lower phase margin of around 30 degrees. And here you can see that, in fact, I've got a certain amount of ringing. And that means that my power supply is approaching instability. Of course, if I make this 30 degrees even lower, if I design for 15 degrees, the power supply in all likeliness under some condition would become unstable. So to conclude, a higher phase margin would typically mean a more damped transient response, i.e. a slower but more stable system. And a low phase margin would mean an oscillatory response and could lead to instability. As with crossover frequency, we have to find a nice compromise. To find out more, please join us in one of TI University program's many hands-on seminars. Thank you very much for watching, and for more information, please follow the link below.